Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like looking in the camera. Um, yeah, that's, I just gotta get like used to looking at this water. I mean, how's important? How important is it to us? Because uh, we pee in it, we flush it down the toilet, we poop in it, we waste tons and tons of it with shower. We put chemicals in it. We dump tons of trash into it. We we just waste it. You know, what I'm trying to do as a human being to, to lessen my impact on everything, what I'm doing is I'm trying to appreciate the life forces of this planet. Yeah, well, I got the fresh spring water. I mean, it was just amazing. The, the whole ride there, we, uh, the, on the way up, we got to see all the beautiful landscape of, you know, and all, but we, all the beautiful landscape of this, uh, of the state. Just beautiful landscape, just pure, you know, nature. And it's just mountains and, 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 and as we drive, it sort of looked like we're carving through all this, you know, we're carving our way up. And it's just, I don't know where I'm going with this, but we did drive up really far. And <laughs> I have footage of pointing out the window, so I guess I'll throw this over this right here. <laughs> you know, what Pindo. was the guy's name? Wait, hold on. His name was Dell. He, he was a good friend of mine. Dell? Yeah, he's, he was, I, I met him, that was the first day I met him, but, I, you know, it was just cool. Today was the first day you the met him? Today was the first day I met him, yeah. Yep. <laughs> but I, I know his wife, because she, she uh, works at a bookstore. And um, yeah, she introduced me to her husband, which I, I met him and I got up early this morning and I had my good friend Kurt give me a ride. Um, and I just, I never met him, I only spoke on the phone in the interview, but I met him this morning and we drove, you know, all the way, you know, we got the spring water. It was just like, he took me up there and he was, you know, he was good enough to show me all of these, uh, you know, techniques and he, he knew plenty about water and plenty about tons of things. I, I learned a lot from him. and. Uh, we got up there and he, he even had a test there. We were testing the water. Uh, this is a, a, called a TDS meter. Um, it's a, uh, a, a um, total dissolved solids. And uh, by pressing uh, the uh, on off, and then uh, we dip in it. Actually, it'd be better if it was in a jug uh, of water. We had some water in there. And then uh, test the water that way. And then it's able through electrodes uh, and test the uh, the amount of solids within the, the water itself. He also gave me a, a connection where I'd be able to buy more of these glass containers from a wine distillery or or this uh, store that makes your own wine and beer. They have these containers which which is up for sale. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invest my money into something that will benefit me in the long run. You know, instead of just spending on something that I'm going to consume and then throw into a trash which will end up in the landfill. We can lessen our impact with everything. So this is going to be an investment. I'm going to buy more of these and, and I'll, I'll go and get my spring water. And then I won't have to use as much, you know, until I, until I, until I decide to invest into an RO system, which means reverse osmosis, and I can clean my uh, own tap water, I'm going to be doing this. But these are like the small changes. I'm putting pure alkaline mineral filled water into my body instead of fluoride and chlorine and heavy metals which comes in tap water or just buying bottled water which is good, just gonna cause more trash and it's not that big of a change but it's just the small little things that count you know and it's just like little baby step towards something greater and that's all this is and um, I guess I'm just trying to share what I'm doing with with people you know just maybe I can inspire others to do the same but we went up there and uh, where well, the water was coming out of a, a pipe and the, the pipe is, is connected to an aquifer which basically trapped groundwater and, and the, the water had probably been there for, for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and it's just pouring out and it's just trapped, you know, and uh, it pours out into a, this drain in the street which basically leads off to run off into a, the stream instead of going into a, uh, into a sewer which we do with all of our water, you know, thousands of people not getting fresh water around the world. Thousands of people die from not getting clean water, and we just flush it down with, with our our waste and, and send it off somewhere. And not even not even conscious of that because it just becomes so 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 part of our daily life. Just like shh, flush, boom. But we don't know, and we, that's just because we were able to just flush something so precious down the toilet without any thought of it. We don't get to understand the, the trueness, and we don't get to. We're not able to to be as grateful for it. So me, it also was like a, a sort of a, a me being grateful for this precious water because it is precious. Our food, 
more than half of our body is made up of water. More than half of it. It's in every cell in our body. It's in every, you know, it's it's part of it. It's a living life force that, that keeps us alive, that keeps us alive, you know? And um, we just need to appreciate it more because there's only so much fresh water on the planet, you know? The majority is salt. And, and the amount of water that we waste and the amount of water that we pollute, you know, it, we want fresh water in the future. We want, you know, our future family to our future family and future generations to, to have clean water, you know, and this is a precious planet and we just need to, you know, take care of it and stop acting like it's, you know, just like a, a hunk, as my good friend Taylor would say, just a hunk of, of garbage, because that's what we're pretending is, we just kind of separate ourselves, you know? Indigenous people didn't see nature as something separate from them, they didn't have words for, for nature, it was just this. It wasn't separate from them. Like we kind of separate ourselves from, you know, we 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 we, dis we divorce ourselves from the from the planet that we we're from. You know, we're from this planet. We're of this planet. We're made of this planet. You know, and that's going against the universal laws. We have man-made laws and we have universal laws. And if you look at everything in nature, everything works together. You know, like if you look at a flock of birds, like today when we look in the sky and all and all those birds are just flying by. You know, and it was just like they, they, they didn't say, hey, we're gonna, one, one bird didn't say, hey, yo, we're taking off, you know? And um, everything has that balance. If you look at a school of fishes, just, you know, a school of fish just flowing together, one flow. If like if there's a flower in the field, the only reason that flower's in the field is because there's things in that field and around that field to support that flower to grow. And uh, we've kind of lost our, our place in this big web of everything, this big web of, of life this precious pristine planet so to cut this video short whatever I'm just gonna wrap this bone dang up together mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap this up because you know and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep changing my lifestyle and uh I'm just gonna keep sharing you know I'm, I'm, I'm still getting used to this talking on the camera thing you know I have a lot of ideas and I just want to share with people and hopefully I'll just grow and and as I grow I'll continue to share with you how I grow and uh, share the things that I'm doing and maybe I can inspire other people to uh, you know make the changes so we can create a better world to live in.